Any other question? Are we that bad? How about a quick verse of the road leads to nowhere? Any other okay, well, it's been nice. The road leads to nowhere. Ready? You have all arrived. Ready's going to do the talking for all of us, though. Ask a question. Well, ready, you're chasing people away, okay? Good, good. All of you leave. It <laughs> costs us money. We're okay. all broke old people. They don't even know who we are. Who are we? Tell oh. us who you are. Last you half of the we, we did West Craven's first horror film. We, we were the original. <laughs> Chainsaw Massacre ripped us off. And all the others did. We were the first. No, you, Chainsaw Massacre sawed us off. You really do love us. I like that. They really do love us. Mark, say something. Why? <laughs> That's enough. Okay. You're doing well, Fred. Any questions? Aren't you surprised we're all still alive? <laughs> it was a long time ago. Does anybody remember the movie? No, they're all too young. <laughs> well, we got some people up there. Has everybody here seen it? Yeah. 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 It's terrible, isn't it? <laughs> Does anybody okay. here remember Jack Parr? <laughs> when you watch the movie, did you think, you know, when, when it comes to like a question and answer thing like this, this is maybe, serious. what? This is serious. No. Maybe think of a question that you had like, why are these idiots making this picture? Why? How did they do this? How would this happen? I Please. can tell you why. Originally supposed to be like a porno? Yes. No. Well, not, not when I got involved. No. No, wait a minute. I always thought it was a porno movie. No. I read, oh, I read something that initially, like Cunningham. And Fred, answer that question. Me. Yeah, Fred. No, Fred are you was crazy? I'm out of here. Not crazy. Yeah. 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 Before we ever got a porno. We are artists. <laughs> Not makers of smart. <laughs> Jeez. This man has. You made make a couple of movies. I know. Who the hell That's knew that? Right? It was all his camera. Yeah, it was originally called Sex Crime of the Century. Right. Yeah. Yes. And it was it was a very very hardcore script. And what happened was oh. they hired a lot of criminals who didn't want to do it again. They hired. What, what, what happened? What, what what really happened was they had this idea. They had this script that had a lot of hardcore sex in it. And um, they started casting, and they settled on us, and kind of realized that they had actors who were better than that material, and who didn't want to do that, but would be willing to do something that you know, not 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 so much with the graphic violence. Well, no, none of us wanted to do, do well, sex. The first Although I could have used cut it, their tits you know. Off and but ate them. Really? <laughs> he and he I said, can I extrapolate on this whole thing? <laughs> West the original, the original, the original concept was to hire a porno group, which is what happened during those days. You would go out and you'd pay thirty-five thousand dollars. You get seven porno actors in, and they do it in seven days, and they fuck and they suck and they do violence, etc., like that, and they leave. And then you had your film, and you went on to the next, and the porno group went on to the next, and you went and edited it. Um, the uh, porno group fell out of bed. Good old days, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, they fell, out of, what they fell out of bed is, and they fell out of Fred. I was the and only Fred one decided one. he wanted to stay there. <laughs> I was the only one that could get it up. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't enough to substantiate the Harry problem. Reeves was hired, didn't want to do it. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, that's true. Um, that's true. Harry Reeves? Yep. He had your part. Yes, yeah, true. <laughs> he had my part. <laughs> he was Sadie. <laughs> um, and so, but, so and, uh, gradually, people came in, like Mark said, that were actors, and they said, yes, we'd love to do the film, we'll do a B for violence, but we will not, not do a P for porno, mm. you know. And P? That, we weren't P, we were R. Or R for porno, excuse me. R for... R for, R for revelation. What? Anyway. R for... R for erection. For re erection, right. <laughs> Record breaking. <laughs> And that's the way the film was born. Rain, like, R for Ray. Yeah. I gotta get back to my smart world. Everybody was stoned on the, on the set. We uh, we had a great time. We uh, it was a real loving, and we made one of the most violent films ever. So you figure that out. Any what? questions? What? There, there, yeah. Oh. Go ahead. Uh, there seems to be a rumor going around that the film was was uh, evolved from Bergman's. Virgin Spring. That's, 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 that's not a rumor. That's the truth. That's the truth. That's the truth. That's the the theme of uh, a Bergman's uh, movie is called the Virgin Spring. Yeah. It's about a farm couple whose little girl makes her first communion. They give her a crucifix. She goes on the road by herself because the mother and father have to keep working. 
Uh, she gets captured by three uh, bandits, road, bandits road, road bandits, who rape her and kill her. And they and find the body. They 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 go down the road, and the parents let nowhere. them come in. You know, because in those days you would take in people that were travelers, and the and the wife spots the you necklace, and they kill the bad guys. The theme here, and it's the same theme in our movie, is that. Ours, it didn't quite work because the mother and father weren't really that sympathetic. But the idea is that everyone is capable of this kind of violence given a certain situation. Much like Peckinpah uh, elaborated on his straw dogs. How do you go from, yeah. from porno to Bergman? Pardon me? Yeah. Oh, no, from it's from Bergman to porno. From Bergman to porno. Well, because he ripped off the movie, and then the movie was supposed to be pretty much what it is. The with hardcore sex. Actually, yeah, that's having sex with the bodies. Yeah. The, original, the original Bergman film was adapted from a Norse saga. That's, you know, that's a, a Norse edda. It was that, written sometime in the 14th in the century. So the story goes back about six or 700 years, maybe even longer than that. The first, the first records that I saw of it were in the 14th century, 1300s. Yeah, it's like an old Swedish folk tale. Right. So nothing was shot with that original script, right? No. 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 Well, what, is, what, what can you extrapolate on that? The, the more explicit script. Nothing oh, was ever shot. We well, wish all the V for violence was shot. Right, there was right, stuff right. that was shot in there that was unbelievable. Mm -hmm. That they did, you know, they had to cut it out. It, it started out as sex and crime of the century. It was me <laughs> stabbing that poor girl. That's the missing. Does, yeah. You know, then it became, uh, then, then it became what Krug and Company. Krug and, Company. and then it, what, there was another, there was another one that was in, in, another title that was in there. And every, every single time they released it. They uh, uh, people would you know run out of the theater screaming, and they thought they had a bad uh, you know a bad film, so they changed so they changed the title and go to another town. Who settled you know? My friend Krug for a while. Uh, Krug okay. and Company. Uh, and then what happened was that this guy came up. This guy came up at, at Hallmark releasing. Who decided that they would four wall it up in the New England area. Tell them what four walling means. Four walling means you put it in the theater and what and in, in individual theaters, and you get a piece of the gate. Pretty much what's going on now yeah, yeah. for the movies where you see movies in 200 theaters at once. Ours was the first movie to do that. Yeah, ours was all and over the And to use city. television advertising to bring people in. But and the guy... we got nothing. The way the that cool this... The thing is, none of us got anything. <laughs> but we don't need money because we're that, all wealthy. The way that it happened was that he came up with the idea, keep repeating I yourself, it's only... Keep hands. repeating to yourself, it's only a movie, it's only a movie, it's only a movie. And that really resonated with the audience. And that's what got him into yes. the theater. And, and after that, it's just history. It was number one. Made nineteen million dollars in what two or three weeks or something like that. Some made fifty-five million dollars all told. Together. Yeah, but I mean nineteen million dollars the first two or three weeks. It was nineteen seventy-two. That was. And we're all wealthy because of it. You can see that. <laughs> yeah. We just come here to wear our, our old clothes. <laughs> see? In the back. The holes and shit, yeah. man. Um, I mean, it's awesome. To, to uh, David, um, one of the things that Wes already hired you going, you already had your songwriting. Yes. Uh, Right, one of the things I know is the song, because I know it's a lyric I refer to the characters, it has this very happy tone that the whole the hunt throughout it. I mean, is that a conscious decision? Because I know either mentioning the characters and the names and all this is a bit of a. Well, I'll t I'll t I, can t I can tell you how that happened. What, uh, when I walked in, I, Marty Coe was the guy that got me in the, in the film to begin with. I was doing a play off Broadway called Dark of the Moon. I played the Witch Boy. So I, I was like, you know, it was a 180 degree turn for me. I had no. The, the only film I'd ever done was the Molly Maguires, and they paid me six weeks to play rugby, which was a lot of fun. <laughs> you know? um, no lines, just playing rugby. And uh, Marty got me in there, and it was hot that day, and my, we drove down in my sister's station wagon, because he was <coughs> with my sister at the time, and, and he, he put 16 sweaters on me, literally, actually, five sweaters, the last one, which was a, an Irish knit. And he did this because he said I wasn't big enough for the role. And by the time I got there, I was a raving maniac, and I ran up the stairs. I started screaming my head off, which I'm capable of doing. Very, you know, readily. you? No, you know, I'm a quiet man. Sublime. Yeah. And I saw that movie with John Wayne. <laughs> went out of the office, John and Wes. They said, "What? What? He said, What's your name?" I said, "David Hess." And I'm here to do it. And I was just crazy, you know. And and Wes looks at me. And looks at Sean and he says, you're hired. <laughs> and, 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 and then I looked at him and, and in this sweet angelic tone, that's the way he tells the story, I said, well, what about my music? <laughs> Which is a total 180 degrees. He says, no, we'll let you do that too. So they paid me $900 for the role and $18,000 to do the music. 
So figure that one out. 18,000? I knew you got rich. No, no, we put it all into the film. He only wanted to know why you did happy music for a shitty right. film. <laughs> Not how you did it. Don't ask why him no more questions. Why I did it was because... It was because... Uh, was it ask her. She's because quick. I, okay, She's I didn't hear it. <laughs> so I Here's went on. Mark, he gives you one word answer. Um, <laughs> counterpoint. Counterpoint, I felt, having written a lot of music in my life, I felt that Counterpoint would really work well in this kind of a film. When you have a movie that has the kind of graphic violence that Last House has, uh, the audience as a collective consciousness needs relief. And, and no matter what you're showing them, the, the more times you allow them that relief, whether it's through... Uh, listening to, to the counterpoint music that David wrote or the silly scenes with the cops that Wes put in there, uh, it, it gives the audience a chance to breathe so that, you know, it's like a you roller can, coaster so that you in. can then, you know, uh, uh, grab them again and take them on another horrific ride. If you do... Most people left by that point. You know, a lot of people left. <laughs> Well, the blues, Just for instance. Just cut off Mark giving his psychological you know. reasoning for this friggin' movie. Continue. <coughs> During the rape scene, the blues. Up, 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 that, that up, was. Up, up. Shut up. Mark, finish. There's I like the big words. You can use. tell him. It's okay. <laughs> the conscious. It was a conscious. It was a conscious decision. Sadie and Krug was a conscious decision. Uh, all that, you know. All the, it was. Yeah. Krug is where Freddy Krueger came from. Yeah. And Freddy is Yeah, that's me. not an accident. And he's Freddy. <laughs> that's so, right. Freddy is me and Kruger's here. Wes has been remaking this movie since we made it. That's right. It's 32 years ago. And he almost knows how to do it. If you give him, you give him $100 million, he can reproduce this movie almost. that we made almost. for $97.50. Yeah. $60,000. Now, it costs about $90,000 because Sean charged thirty for his house. <laughs> Anybody else? Well, that's it. What go. kind of terms are you on with Sean Wentz? Oh, oh we love them. They love us. They Can't call you see? us they're, every they're picture here. that they do. Just we're busy. So yeah. uh, Wes is, <laughs> Wes is uh, he's a decent guy. Wes no, he's not. He's an asshole. Sean Cunningham. <laughs> I, <hear you. laughs> I, asked him, I asked him to give me some work. Do you know what he said to me? Send me your reel. So I got a DVD of Last House on the left and I sent it. Here's <laughs> <laughs> my real you asshole. I oh, married Richard Dreyfus and, and Sean Cunningham walked into Richard's office one time and took one look at me and canceled his meeting with Richard. Uh, and I just had someone that was going to put up money to do not a remake but a sequel with me coming out of the grave. Out of the, the lunatic asylum with no dick and getting revenge on women. Wow. And they were going to hire all that. They, in yeah, fact, we, Mark and David were going to be the policemen in the movie tracking me down. And Sean happened? would not give us the rights. And he wouldn't even talk to us. He had his assistant say, oh, we're going to do that myself. Oh. Mind you, he's, you can see that he's filming. And I did four movies for Sean. And helped him in every single movie that he, he put did. this whole movie together. Fred did. Essentially, so I was a stunt man, and I kind of knew what I was doing. We did it. We helped did. them, and we used to sit at night. You'll read in the books. We about choreographed West, all our own stunts. About Wes thinking of what to do. He never thought anything. He just asked us. The chainsaw. Show Wait, whose idea was the chainsaw, Freddie? Let me do my impression of Wes directing <laughs> Last House. Yes, go. <laughs> 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 okay, uh, um, cut. <laughs> I mean, that's really, really, that's really the way it was. I mean, he had a, he, he had a view of what he wanted to do because he wrote the script and he was a storyteller and still is a storyteller. But again, I don't I don't say that about him or do that mockingly. I do it in the fact that it was his first film and he really was kind of, you know, finding his way through the adventure. I mean, I'm a director now, so it was really, and I know what that is. So he was really finding his way through the adventure of what do I do next? And, and basically, when it's your first film, unless you, unless you spend a lot of time on, on sets, you kind of, you know, what do I do next? And that's, that's what he was doing. We, we didn't get a whole lot of, uh, you know, kind of uh, a, a Preminjerian direction. He was terrified of what was going to happen in the end because he didn't know how to kill us off. 
And, if and, and I, I, it was either you or I that came up with the chainsaw. I forgot who it was, but one of us. We came up with the chainsaw together. Right. We showed him how to do it. I came up with her pool thing. Exactly. Only because I wanted her to jump in that Petri. He wanted, <laughs> for instance, here, yeah. dig this. Sean wanted, the cha cha there was a chainsaw in Sean's garage. So we picked that up and we said, why don't we use this? And Sean said, that's a great idea. We'll have, we'll have the father attack David. Now, let me show you how to do this. So he pulls the chainsaw like this, and he comes at me with the damn chainsaw, you know? I said, whoa, wait a minute, Sean. No. It's going to look the same, but why don't you let me, with a chair, attack the chainsaw? That way, you may not lose me, you know? <laughs> you so, can have a sequel. You know? So, oh, that's a good idea. I never thought of it doing that way. So the whole scene is filmed with me attacking the chainsaw, except it looks reversed. And they've copied that technique that we used since that time. I mean, it's been used in hundreds of pictures, where the aggressor is really the person that's being attacked. They had the, the, the I don't wife want to blow your beating her in an even fight, and I said, I really hit that lady. I said, <laughs> she's slugged she's supposed man. to be this I, tough I street kid. She can't, the wife can't beat her. So I put the thing on her neck and stuck the blood in her, in her breast. She die in that Told her to pull herself out of here, and the wife just goes like this. And then you, she hits the bag, and all the blood comes out. They cut out the parts where we carve her hey, neck. Hey, the there's Where? Marty Cove. He couldn't catch Holy us. Holy shit, could, would you sign this? <laughs> Mr. Cove, sir? Sign my navel. Oh, my navel! Yes! Holy shit! Marty was the comic relief. <sighs> Uh, you guys Marty played Cove? himself, incidentally. He's gotten a little smarter since that time, but he played himself. Marty was Cagney and Cagney and Lacey. <laughs> <laughs> Marty went on to be a big star. Rambo. What that say? So. See that? Made everybody be quiet. <laughs> They're all in awe because there you are, alive and well. Oh, yeah. Are we talking about how much we love the movie? Yes, the movie? we are talking about your part, actually. No. Yeah, yeah that, which was that, really that's important. Why people went to it was, see you, know, you and Ada. Relief. I want to tell you guys that? something. Ada Washington, remember Ada? Who I, I think is the that was Sean's maid. <laughs> that was Sean's housekeeper. Yeah, Sean's housekeeper. <laughs> and she stole the movie. <laughs> Stole the chickens too, incidentally. Uh, Any questions? <laughs> yeah, no right. questions. Don't you want to know how much we all made? Oh, wait, the there's a guy in the back there. What, what are you guys working on now? Ah, we're working on Last House on the Right. Which is a Disney movie. <laughs> we're not working. What the hell do you think we're doing? We're trying desperately to sell these stupid pictures to people. Some of, us, some of us are working. Some of us are working. <laughs> Broke old people. They don't even know who we are. Who are we? Tell oh. us who you are. Last you half of the we, we did Wes Craven's first horror film. We, we were the original. <laughs> Chainsaw Massacre ripped us off. And all the others did. We were the first. No, you, Chainsaw Massacre sawed us off. You really do love us. I like that. Yeah. They really do love us. Mark, say something. <laughs> Why? Any other questions? Are we that bad? How about a quick verse of The Road Leads to Nowhere? Any <laughs> okay, well, it's been the nice. The Road Leads to Nowhere. Ready? You have all arrived. Ready? He's going to do the talking for all want? of us, though. Ask a question. Want us to talk? Ready? You're chasing people away, okay? Good, good. All of you leave. It <laughs> costs us money. Okay. Did you think, you know, when, when it comes to like a question and answer thing like this, this is maybe, serious. what? This is serious. No. Maybe think of a question that you had like, why are these idiots making this picture? <laughs> why, how did they do this? How would this happen? I Please. can tell you why. Originally supposed to be like a porno movie? Yes. Or? No. Well, not, not when I got involved. No. No, wait a minute. I always thought it was a porno movie. No. <laughs> That's enough. Okay. You're doing well, Fred. Any questions? Aren't you surprised we're all still alive? <laughs> <laughs> it was a long time ago. Does anybody remember the movie? No, they're all too young. <laughs> well, we got some people up there. Has everybody here seen it? Yeah. 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 It's terrible, isn't it? Yeah. Does anybody okay. here remember Jack Parr? 
<laughs> when you watched the movie. I read, oh, I read something that initially, like, Cunningham and Fred, Fred answer that question. Me. Yeah, Fred, no, Fred you was crazy. I'm out of here. Before we ever got a phone. We are artists. <laughs> Not makers of smart <laughs> Jesus. This man has. You made make a couple of movies. Who the hell knew that? It was all. Yeah, it was originally called Sex Crime of the.